Okay, well this is the basic framework and it's nearly all glued together except for a couple of places where it doesn't need to be glued and because it's not glued it can be taken apart very well and won't fall apart in use. So the places where it's not glued are these two joints here. They just push out, right, and so you get that mechanism there. And this also pulls out and so that you can have the thing will just go flat. So let me just pull that apart there. Okay, so that will go into a flat sort of space like that. And you see it's just got two bends. That's a bend, I've got a white one here, but that's basically a 90 degree bend. This is all made with either the uh, bends, which are that shape, and T-shape. There's no other, no other components apart from those two. And this kind of plastic tubing is made so that it just pushes in. So here's a piece of pipe, just push it in and it's there, it's fixed, okay? It'll come off again, but when you've actually constructed the whole thing and you're sure that it's all working, um, then you can actually glue it together. And as I say, this is all glued together now, except for those two joints at the back. And um, you use this special poly pipe solvent cement, which is quick acting, very strong smelling, and um, glues it solidly. So this won't come apart. Okay, now the, the rocker arm, this part that goes up and down, has quite a bit of stress on these joints here and here. If you didn't have anything to reinforce that, uh, it might bend and break. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of steel tube that I just found around, uh, just a very thin grade steel, and poked it down inside the tube like that. And that goes the full length. There's a tube like that going the full length from here down to here and that gives it rigidity and strength and stops this joint having any weakness. So when you drill through here you're actually drilling through the T plus two, two lengths of the uh, two sides of the, plus of the metal tube inside and coming out at the other side there's another metal one going right down here and it, you drill through both of those and out the other side. So you've got a, a strong mechanism, the, the, the really the only strength that's needed is in these bars across here and by putting that piece of um, metal tubing inside um, it just gives it extra rigidity and strength and will stop it uh, from getting damaged as time goes on. Okay so we'll put this back together again now that goes into there, the other end goes into here and then this stands into there and there on both sides. So that's the mechanism, that's the, the basic mechanism of the thing. Very simple. The tubes are going through here, the metal tubes. You've got the extra gripping stuff on the end of these supports for the cameras and the metal rod that goes right through. As I say, it was just um, a cheap thing I found in a pound shop, but if you haven't got, you could get a, a piece of steel, but it only cost a pound and I thought that would do nicely for the pivot for this thing. So there it is, okay. Okay, this is about the uh, platen, which is the, the glass part that goes down into the book. And this is the key part that actually determines, the size of this actually determines all the other measurements of the framework that you've got. So what you need to do is to cut it and make it into a 90 degree shape. Here's two bits of MDF, just to give you an idea. Uh, you cut it and then you're going to glue it along like that, so that one edge is right in the corner. And I was thinking, how can we make that, how can we make it at a right, right angle, just like that? And I found a simple way of doing it, which was to use a few cans, put one in front, a couple behind, and that holds the thing in position while it's gluing. It just it just holds it exactly 90 degrees because that's the way the cans are made, and it holds it nicely in position when you come to glue it. Now um, that's just a simple trick that you might like to use. This is special plastic weld cement. Um, you can get it online, and it's called methylene chloride. And um, you put very very small quantity of it when you've cut your 
your uh, plastic I just imagine that this is the plastic now you just put the two together and run a very small amount down here now I used a brush a very fine pointed brush because capillary action just takes the glue uh, down the gap between the two and actually welds the plastic together so it becomes a very strong solid joint when you come to actually uh, cutting the plastic uh, there are special tools that you can get for scoring it uh, but I found that um, a chisel was just as good and you just, just, just take a straight edge I'll just show you now how it works take a straight edge and you go along the straight edge with the, with the chisel several times just dragging it towards you to make a good sized groove in that and then uh, you bend it over a uh, sharp edge, like this table for example here. You just bend it over and it cracks with a loud noise and gives you a very nice straight edge uh, which is clean and ready for gluing. It's very simple to do. So then you would glue that onto the other piece like that. Obviously this has got a plastic coating that you take off just a thin plastic coating and it's best to leave that on while you're constructing the whole thing but just take off a bit around the edge so that you can glue it together and that stuff doesn't get in the way it just peels off like this but leave most of it on until you really finish the whole job and then you have the excitement of peeling it off and uh, seeing how the whole thing works together so that will glue onto here using your tins of food just to make a nice right angle shape and you have to leave it to dry for a little while. I would leave it for an hour or so to make sure that it's fairly solid, but it, it hardens up as time goes on. So that's this glue, plastic weld, you can get it, but there's an American version as well if you want to. And it actually welds the plastic together. So this is acrylic. It's sometimes called polystyrene here, um, but it's very, very easy to work with, and that's all you need to do. I actually have bought um, sheets of this, A4 size sheets, uh, but the, the disadvantage with that is when it came um, the edge had been sawn along here and it wasn't a really crisp image, a crisp um, edge rather um, and so it really didn't lend itself for gluing because there were saw marks along there. You could r use a router on it to get a smoother edge but you really do need a very smooth edge on that either by cracking it like I've shown you or else with a router um, to just make sure that there's good contact between the two sides of the plastic when you glue it together.